In this question, two identical uniform cylinders of radius r each are placed on top of each other next to a wall as shown in the figure. After a disturbance, the bottom cylinder slightly moves to the right and the system comes into motion. Find the maximum subsequent speed of the bottom cylinder and we have to neglect friction. So all the surfaces are smooth and this cylinder is given a slight disturbance towards right like this and the system starts moving. So we have to find the maximum velocity of this cylinder. So let's see how to do this. So this is the initial situation in which this cylinder is given slight disturbance towards right and suppose this is the diagram at some general instant when this has shifted by some distance uh, towards right and the cylinder is uh, coming down. Uh, according to constraint this cylinder will move uh, like this okay, along uh, parallel to this uh, horizontal surface and from constraint this cylinder will move in the vertical direction and there is no rotation involved here because there is no friction. So, it is performing purely translatory motion and it is also performing purely the translatory motion there is no rotation involved here. So, let us say let us assume this velocity at this instant at this general instant is let us say this is v1 and this velocity is let us say v2 and these are the centers ok. So, these are the centers. So, if I join the, the two centers ok. So, distance between these two centers will be equal to 2r suppose this angle will be theta. So, I can write the constraint equation because these two are moving in contact. So, if those two are moving in contact, so velocity components, velocity components uh, perpendicular, velocity components perpendicular to the contact surface would be equal ok. Or I can say distance between these two points, distance between these two centers uh, should be a constant. So, from that also I can uh, write because these two are moving in contact. So, uh, V2's component along this uh, line is V2 cos theta and V1 component is uh, this V1 sin theta ok. So, let us write the components. So, this component is going to be V2 cos theta and uh, this component will be V1 sin theta here. So, from constraint these two velocities should be equal. So, V2 cos theta should be equal to V1 sin theta. So, this is one of the equation we will use further and uh, we can use energy conservation. So, energy is, is conserved because there is no non-conservative frictional forces and you know, all the other forces normal is not doing any work and only the conservative force uh, gravitational force is doing work. So, the potential energy of this uh, uh, gravitational potential energy for this cylinder is decreasing and that is converting in kinetic energy of these two cylinders. So, I can write uh, energy conservation ok. So, let us write energy conservation mechanical energy conservation. So, from energy conservation I can write uh, the kinetic energy of these two blocks half m v 1 square half m v 2 square this would be equal to the change in potential energy or loss in potential energy and for potential energy let us say uh, I am assuming that uh, uh, this center ok. So, this center is initially initially this center is at a distance of 3 r this distance was 3 r and now I am assuming this distance to be y from here ok. So, it is like a y coordinate. So, this distance is let us say y. So, the change in height is 3 r minus y and the center of mass for this cylinder is not moving up or down. So, there is no gravitational potential energy change for this uh, cylinder ok. So, I can write uh, loss in gravitational potential energy will be m g into 3 r minus y ok. So, you can cancel m and uh, now you can replace uh, this thing. So, v1 square v2 square and this will be twice g 3 r minus y. Now, uh, uh, we have to calculate this v1 ok. So, let us first try to calculate v1 and uh, let us try to eliminate other variables. So, v2 I have to eliminate this v2 and I have to eliminate this y also ok. So, let us uh, eliminate this y and how to eliminate this y from here. So, what I can do I can just uh, draw a triangle like this ok. So, this is a triangle like this ok. So, in this triangle uh, this distance ok. So, what is this uh, distance here? So, this is r and uh, this total is y. So, obviously, this is y minus r ok. So, this distance is going to be y minus r. This distance is 2r. So, I can replace y in terms of theta from this relation. So, 2r cos theta from the triangle this is equal to y minus r. So, y you can replace in terms of uh, theta. 
so this y is going to be r plus 2r cos theta so this is the value of y so i can put this y from here in this equation okay and for v2 so v2 is equal to from here it is v1 from equation 1 it is v1 tan theta so i can replace this v2 from v1 square tan square theta and this is 2g 3r and in place of y i can write this r 2r sin theta so uh, after solving it is v1 square 1 plus tan square theta 1 plus tan square theta will be the sec square theta so uh, finally i can write v1 square this uh, should be equal to 4gr after solving and uh, sec square theta will go here it will become the cos square theta and here it is not sin theta here it is basically cos theta i put uh, wrongly here cos theta it will be cos theta okay so 4g r cos square theta and into 1 minus cos theta this is the value of v1 uh, in terms of uh, cos theta okay so to find the maximum value of v1 so what i can do is i can differentiate this thing and uh, to make the differentiation simple you can take another function and you can just replace cos theta by some uh, another variable okay so i can take some function and cos theta i can replace with some another function let's say t so it is a t square 1 minus t okay so where cos theta is t and t is obviously from 0 to 1 here so just to differentiate this one so dz by dt so t square differentiation will be 2t and um, it will be minus tq minus tq will be 3t square and let's put it to be equal to 0 and from this uh, i can write t is equal to 0 and t is equal to 2 by 3 so obviously t is equal to 0 theta is 90 degree so this is not uh, a condition which we are looking for so t is equal to 2 by 3 okay t is equal to 2 by 3 so what is happening at t is equal to 2 by 3 if t is equal to 0 that means cos theta is 0 and theta is 90 degree here okay and uh, 2 by 3 so cos theta is 2 by 3 for this one initially what is the value of theta initially uh, the value of theta this uh, uh, line and this is making angle theta so initially centers are uh, at this vertical line initially theta was 0 degree okay and uh, now finally theta is uh, becoming such that cos theta is 2 by 3 so if i plot the graph of z versus t okay if you plot the graph of z versus t uh, you will see that i am starting t from 0 because uh, t is not negative here cos theta is not negative here so this is the value z t square minus t cube okay so its graph is going to be like this so uh, for t greater than 1 it will be negative and for t less than 1 it will be positive okay so here there will be a minima and again it will have a maxima here 2 by 3 and after that it is going like this so obviously t cannot be greater than 1 because cos theta cannot be greater than 1 this is 2 by 3 okay this is 2 by 3 and this is going to be 0 so we started with theta cos theta is equal to 1 and now since theta is increasing and theta is increasing cos theta is decreasing so cos theta becomes equal to 2 by 3 and when cos theta is 2 by 3 then uh, this velocity is obviously the maximum and this graph is showing that when cos theta becomes uh, less than 2 by 3 okay cos theta becomes less than 2 by 3 then this uh, velocity is decreasing but this velocity cannot decrease from the physical point of view mathematically the function is showing that velocity is decreasing but uh, physically uh, physically why this velocity is increasing because there is a normal reaction here so you can see there is a normal reaction here and due to this normal reaction normal uh, there is a horizontal component of normal reaction and due to that horizontal component velocity is increasing speed is increasing and uh, and there is no other horizontal force on this okay so here from here the normal reaction is vertical mg is vertical okay so if a speed increases obviously speed increases due to this component and if a speed is decreasing then this contact force should be like this and its component should become like this okay so contact forces uh, horizontal component should become towards uh, uh, towards left and this cannot be the case because the normal reaction normal reaction will always act like this and its component will always be like this and speed will always increase speed cannot decrease for the cylinder okay so this means uh, 
after 2 by 3 when cos theta becomes 2 by 3 and after that uh, at this location speed becomes maximum and after that speed cannot decrease like this okay speed cannot decrease like this so what is happening at cos theta is equal to 2 by 3 this normal reaction becomes 0 so at cos theta is equal to 2 by 3 uh, after cos theta is equal to 2 by 3 this normal reaction will vanish from here normal reaction will become 0 and uh, it will move without any acceleration and uh, velocity will become maximum because initially uh, uh, due to acceleration velocity was continuously increasing it increases till the moment when normal becomes zero okay and after that uh, speed cannot increase velocity cannot increase for this okay because there is no horizontal force acting on this so whatever maximum velocity is happening uh, that is happening for cos theta is equal to 2 by 3 so from here we get the answer now so maximum velocity so v1 max is 4 gr and cos theta i can put 2 by 3 so it is 4 by 9 and 1 minus 2 by 3 is 1 by 3 so it is 16 and it will be under root so it is under root 16 by 27 gr okay so this is the maximum velocity for the lower cylinder